I can't even call this a beard. Like, I can't even grow a beard. And, um, and my wrinkles are getting pretty bad. But I'm going to discuss how maybe uh, to get rid of these wrinkles. So I, I don't want to talk about supplements because I'm not well versed enough to, to discuss supplements. But I do want to talk about the supplements that I take. And um, a friend mentioned to me something about this. It's called the astaxanthin. And it's pronounced with a Z and it's spelled with an X. So why as astaxanthin? So um, a friend of mine explained to me that if you have high iron levels, iron is very good for the body um, in small amounts, but in big amounts, it's very bad for the body. And it can actually chelate in the brain, different organs. And when it chelates in the brain, if you take this, my friend told me, it will stop metals from chelating in the brain and causing amyloid plaques and plaques, which can cause, you know, bad things to happen like Alzheimer's. So I thought I'd look, I'll research into this. He said this is 6,000 times more potent than vitamin C. I don't know if that's true, but it sounded amazing. So I thought I'd really, you know, try and look into it. So what is astaxanthin? Okay, it's a carotenoid. So if you think about carrots and why they're the color they are, it's because of the pigment, beta carotene. It's an orange pigment that gives them their color. So certain algae and plants contain another pigment called astaxanthin. And when certain animals eat the pigment astaxanthin, that it gives them their color. So salmon, for example, eat algae that contains astaxanthin and that makes salmon their orangey, pinky color. Uh, and the same with flamingos. When a flamingo is actually born, the baby flamingo is born white. And when it eats algae that contains this, it gives them their color. So it's really cool. So that's what it is. Okay, now what does it do for the body? It's an antioxidant. And the thing is with antioxidants, some of them can become pro-oxidant, which isn't good. This cannot become pro-oxidant. So what is an antioxidant? Anti, like no. Um, oxidant, like oxidative stress. So if you were to take iron, for example, and throw it in the ocean and then pull it back out, it would rust. Now that rust in the body, or let's just say oxidative stress, is really, really, really not good, as you can probably imagine. So this helps fight that. So a small amount of iron is good, as I said, but lots of iron is not good. So, um, or any metal, for example, we've got certain amounts of metals in our body, like as you've heard, zinc, aluminium, magnesium, and, and you need them in the right levels. So with this antioxidant, um, I thought I'd do some reading to try and understand uh, if it really works or not. How long are we? Two and a half minutes. So what's it good for? From the studies I read, there were 500 studies across all the different websites, and I read three from the National Institute of Health, uh, about 100 pages each, and they were peer reviewed. And they basically say there were some amazing benefits from taking this. Um, but the main ones that I took was eyesight. Um, so when you get to about 50, there's a, a co the most common uh, disease. Is it a disease? Yes. The most common disease for losing eyesight is called AMD, age related macular degenerative disease, uh, obvious disease, but it's degeneration of the eyes. And the internal part of the retina can actually be helped by taking astaxanthin. So that's one good thing. And I think actually you're gonna get AMD a lot younger than 50 as well, because my eyesight is getting really bad. And the other thing is skin. So uh, especially with anti-aging. So as we get older, we lose elastine, elastine and collagen. And both collagenase has been proven to be stopped by taking this. And elastine has been proven to help to, by taking this. And the third thing as well is that UV protection of the skin is actually aided by taking this because when these algae going back down the animal kingdom sit in the sun all day long, they're being hit by UV lights. And um, the pigment actually of astaxanthin contains a UV photochemical that protects the skin or our skin, but it protects the algae from getting really badly sunburned, you know, or whatever it is that they get. So that, I, I read that across the studies. Um, and for me, that is enough of a reason to take it. Now, if you eat salmon every single day, you do not need to take this. Or if you eat salmon regularly, 150 grams of salmon contains 3.6 milligrams of astaxanthin. So you don't need to take it. So I only take this, which is 12 milligrams, which would be about 500, 600 grams of salmon equivalent. I only take this on the days that I don't eat salmon. Um, I'm not going to recommend it. I'd say do your own research. That's the research I've done. I think it's pretty good.